Hi everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Um, a user recently commented on another one of my videos and asked if I could record a video that indicates, you know, how I went about upgrading my Voron V2 to add in a 48 volt power supply. So here goes. Now, as you can see, my cable management uh, skills leave something to be desired. Uh, but while I've been working on tweaking and upgrading and modifying my printer, I didn't want to settle into something that I just have to rip out later again anyway. So right now it's, it's a tangled mess, but it's working. And uh, I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. But at some point in the near future, I'll probably go through and pull everything out and then, you know, wire it properly with some decent cable management. So let's dive into what's going on here. In the uh, stock uh, Voron V2 kits or in the bomb, the bill of materials, um, we have the default uh, LRS 224. It's a 24 volt power supply that most of you are probably uh, aware of or familiar with already. And uh, in addition to that, we have this Meanwell RS255. It's a five volt power supply. Typically these are used to drive uh, the Raspberry Pi, which is what this one's doing. You might also be running other five volt accessories off of that smaller power supply. So um, that's there uh, and I haven't removed that in this case. I'm still using it to drive my Raspberry Pi. In addition, in this situation, I've installed uh, another Meanwell power supply. I tend to stick with the Meanwell brand wherever possible. You can use, obviously, other branded power supplies, but uh, Meanwell has you know, a sterling reputation, so I stick with them. And in this case, I have a LRS 148. Uh, it seems to be sufficient for driving the two A and B motors that I have installed in this printer, and I don't really need anything beefier than that. In order to hook up this uh, LRS-148, I actually had run out of protected earth um, terminals on my Wago clips. And so what I did was I broke out one of them into a splitter, another Wago clip is a splitter. And so now I'm you know, driving the protected earth uh, to my bed heater and also um, I'm using it to connect to the uh, LRS 48, 148 here. I did already have the, um, the L and the N terminals. Um, there were some available, so I didn't need to break those out with their own Wiggo clips, and they're just driving directly off of that, so coming off of mains power. Now, the LRS 48 itself is, um, you know, we have the, the voltage and the ground coming off of it and if we follow those they come down into these motor power terminals on the octopus pro that i've got here i'm going to reorient the view here so we're looking at it sideways as you would normally kind of look at the motherboard face on so here we have as i mentioned the motor power so negative and positive there and then we have the typical board power, which is driven off of the 24 volt power supply. Let's get that wire out of the way. Um, and so those are, you know, these are the, your, your negative and positive for the 24 volt power supply that drives most of the board electronics. In this situation, I have a mix of stepper drivers. I have Big Tree Tech TMC 5160 uh, HVs or Pros. Forget their actual designation in the Big Tree Tech uh, product, but um, they are the um, high voltage version of these stepper drivers, and so they're being driven off of motor power. And how can we tell that? We, these two jumpers, we have one on each of these um, stepper motor blocks between the stepper motor block and the uh, motor cable port. And so if you look carefully, that jumper there is oriented so um, it's jumping the two leftmost pins. And that means for this driver, take the power from the motor power terminal. And if that jumper were on the two rightmost pins, like it is for these TMC2209s, that position of that jumper tells that driver to take its power from the board power terminals. So in this case, I have my 5160s, which are driven off of the 48 volt power supply that's connected to the motor power. And all of my TMC2209s are driven off of the 
24 volt power supply that is connected to board power. And that's basically it. Now, one thing to note, um, you can in fact get um, better performance, better speed out of the stock configuration. So this upgrade, while you know I wanted to do it anyway, isn't necessarily strictly needed if you're just trying to move your motor, move your, your print head a little bit faster. You can definitely achieve some increased speeds without you know even performing this hardware upgrade, even with TMC2209 drivers. Um, most stepper motors can be pushed to, to move a little bit faster, um, but these just allow the motors to operate a little bit more efficiently. So that's why I decided to go this route. Um, and I didn't bother with upgrading all of the stepper drivers to TMC5160 HVs because um, the 2209s are sufficient to drive the Z motors at the speeds that they typically operate. The, the X and Y or A and B motors um, tend to move you know, the print head quite a bit faster, so I wanted those to be uh, to have the the upgraded um, voltage and 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 you know run current in the printer config. Um, just as a note for these fifty one sixties, I started or I, I did a bit of testing and I ended up settling on a run current value for those of one point four. So. The default for a TMC2209 uh, at 24 volts was to run those at 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Um, so that's what my Z motors are all configured for. But if uh, you um, if you do perform this upgrade, you can probably bump up the run current for the upgraded stepper drivers and uh, get some better performance out of your motors that way. So yeah, there you have it. Um, so thanks to the user who requested this video. Uh, I appreciate the comments and the feedback. Hopefully this will be useful to some of you. Um, as always, please be careful if you're playing with any of these wires and, and specifically the power wiring, the mains wiring, uh, but also you know when you're configuring and, and upgrading your, your motors and, and uh, modifying the printer config to increase the run current, Go, uh, you know, take it in baby steps, uh, make small incremental steps and changes. Um, obviously, be ready to shut things down if things go sideways. Uh, these, you know, you can drive the motors to uh, overload if you're not careful. So please take every precaution and, and, you know, small baby steps and you'll eventually get there. So thanks again. Hope this was useful and have a great day.